Hi. So what is IP camera? <clears throat> That's an example of IP camera from uh, ICR time. You can see the network connection on the back. This is uh, uh, additional power connection. Usually the power comes through the network. And that's, that's the entire housing. That's how camera looks like. Uh, you can see lens inside here. Uh, the internal parts there. And there's an arm here which you can fit on something. So what, what is the difference between, let's say, this camera and any HD camera or analog camera, old analog camera. The main difference is the way it transmits signal through that uh, network connection. So regular camera will have uh, the same lenses, the same sensor, but then on the very end, instead of having uh, IP, uh, type of connection so instead of having a network cable there will be a coax connected and that's the main difference uh, visually but then also there's a difference in the signal this signal which goes to the network is already compressed and is encrypted where on the regular camera being that HD or analog camera, it's not encrypted and not compressed. So compression and encryption may happen only in the DVR, where for the network camera, it happens in the camera and then uh, is being transmitted over the network, which makes IP camera much easier to transmit uh, with higher resolutions of uh, images. Another difference is that camera uh, is being connected in a different way so as i said in hd camera you will have also that type of connector for power and this will be your bnc cable so this camera has to be connected over the net yeah and that's that's went down so if we have a network cable this camera has to be connected over the network so in this case we plug the network here and the other end of the cable will connect to the switch or not so just a second which way it went down this way this way okay so Typically, your camera uh, has to be connected to some sort of network in, in one way or another. So, for instance, one way of connecting it is PoE switch. So, this is my, uh, hang on a sec. So this is my, my network, this is my computer, and you can see that they're already talking. Now, if I take this uh, camera cable and connect it here, you can see straight away the green LED, which means that the camera is powered up. This is PoE LED, which, which detect, because that switch and the camera, they talk with each other, and they determine that they, it's a PoE device and this is a PoE switch. So that switch is now sending PoE power to the camera. So camera is now powered over the, over the network. The same thing may happen. And then this switch, sorry, then switch would have to be connected to the DVR, which can handle IP cameras or NVR. Uh, Another example there, this is our small NVR. As you can see, it's not powered up, but uh, this NVR has a built-in switch. So instead of having that switch, you can have a the NVR with the built-in switch and you can plug in camera here. And then it's directly connected, directly being recorded inside of that and VR, where 
in some other cases you go through the switch and then switch is connected to the device some some nvrs won't have a built-in switch or dvrs and you have to connect camera to the network and basically that's that's the, the main explanation this is the main difference the way the signal is transmitted and the fact that it's compressed and encrypted and they need to, that you need a network cable and then you need uh, power over the internet for that camera obviously in some cases you may connect power directly but that's not the point because that's the very useful feature that power can be sent over the internet because you don't need the power supply uh, at the camera and that's basically uh, how PoE camera works there's no nothing really uh, more to that it's just a camera except that sends the signal over the internet IP networks thank you if you would like to learn more about uh, configuration installation of IP cameras uh, NVRs the VRs uh, please visit our website ipcamerahelper.com also if you would like to become a CCTV engineer you will find uh, useful information there thank you